This challenge sees us having to remove the first and last character from a string. We're given one parameter, the original string, and for this challenge, we don't have to worry about strings that don't have less than two characters. So let's make our remove character function. We'll return string just to stop this from erroring. And we'll make a new constant called substring. And that'll be equal to remove character with the string of Paul. If we simply log this out, we can see that we have the string Paul. But we want to cut the first and last letter. So that'll be P and L. We can first off start by getting the string length. And that can be done by saying string.length and assigning this to a string length variable. And now that we know how long the string is, so it's four, we can cut both one and four. So we can return a substring by returning str.substring, starting at character one and ending at the string length character minus one. So this returns us everything in the middle. So if we extended our string to be Paul Halliday, we'd have all Halliday, which is of course without the P and Y. So let's take this and we can paste it here inside of the solution. It should then run some tests and we appear to have passed. So let's submit this and see what other people have done. Other people have used methods such as string slice. So let's take a look at that. As you can see, we have the string length at the moment. So let's take a look at that. Instead of, of course, using the string length, we don't need to care about that at all because we just want to take the final string by using string.slice. And that gives us the same answer. So we're starting at the beginning and then taking one off at the end Another one that I found quite interesting is this use of regular expressions here to replace the string based on the last character. So let's copy that in by Leon and we'll see exactly what happens. As you can see, we have the same response. Instead, we're just using a regular expression. But all in all, this video has looked at how to create new strings, remove items from strings, and then at the same time, just at the end here, we've looked at how we can replace a string. Oh, this new crazy mother...